Today we're going to be looking at simple harmonic motion once again and I'm going to be going through one of the most typical and important questions in A-level physics on simple harmonic motion. So I have a graph over here of the acceleration of an object on the y-axis against the displacement of an object on the x-axis. Now my question for two marks would be how does this graph show simple harmonic motion and this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt the question. Now different features of this graph showcase different aspects of simple harmonic motion. For instance the fact that the graph is a straight line through the origin showcases that the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement. And remember the very fact that acceleration is proportional to displacement is one of the defining characteristics of simple harmonic motion. Now the second really really important characteristic is that the negative gradient showcases that the acceleration is always directed towards the origin. Really important point to make is that we need all parts of those statements to score all the marks in an exam situation. For example, uh, if we just write, if we just wrote the graph is a straight line through the origin, this would not get us full marks. We have to explain that because the graph is a straight line through the origin, this shows that the acceleration is proportional to the displacement and that the negative gradient means that the acceleration is directed towards the origin. Now this last statement, why is the negative gradient necessarily meaning that the acceleration is directed towards the origin? Let's have a look at this situation. In order to illustrate this last point, let's have a look at a little pendulum. Now this is my artistic impression of a pendulum and the equilibrium position is just over here at zero, zero. If uh, we go to the left of that position, the displacement is negative, so we can see that over here, so I'm just going to write this over here is negative displacement and this over here is positive displacement. Now let's think about which direction is the acceleration vector going to be pointing in either of, uh, of those directions. Now um, if we imagine the acceleration vector, the acceleration vector will always be pointing towards the equilibrium position. So when the pendulum is over here on the, on the left, the acceleration will be pointing towards the right. And when the pendulum is on the right, the acceleration will be pointing towards the left. Now what does that actually mean? Well, this means that when x is negative, a is positive and vice versa. When x is positive, the acceleration is negative. Well, this is exactly what the gra negative gradient of the graph actually shows. Over here on the graph, when the acceleration is positive, over here, well, the displacement is negative and vice versa. Right over here, when the displacement is positive, the acceleration is negative. Assuming, of course, that this point over here is the origin zero, zero. Okay, folks, so hopefully this makes sense just to sum things up. How does this graph show simple harmonic motion? Once again, two marker, the graph is a straight line through the origin, and that shows the acceleration is proportional to the displacement. The negative gradient means that the acceleration is directed towards the origin. Hopefully this makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below. And thank you very much for watching.